Nick Parker is on the line. He joins us uh, from Mexico. Nick, uh, you, where are you right now, and what did you feel at the time of the quake? Um, hello, John. Right now I'm in my apartment, uh, which is in uh, Mexico City, and uh, we were sitting down. Uh, there was a, a long tremor of about 10 or 15 seconds or so. Uh, the, room sh uh, the room shook quite substantially, um, and, uh, and then it stopped. Um, turned on the television, and the local news station had lost uh, the lighting of its uh, show that it was broadcasting, and we're still able to broadcast using audio only. Um, and at the moment, uh, local reports are saying that uh, traffic is normal, but some of the traffic lights have been uh, knocked out as well. So there's some power loss across the city. Okay, just give us some logistics here, here Nick. You, how far away would you say you're from the epicenter of the earthquake if the epicenter of the earthquake is about 200 kilometers away from Acapulco? That's right. So I would be uh, approximately about 250 kilometers from, from the epicenter, which is, as you say, near Acapulco. And uh, the fact that we were able to still feel uh, something that was obviously extremely palpable and, and, and physically uh, apparent, um, you know, some distance away, gives you some idea, I guess, of the magnitude of, uh, of Blake, um, which was 7.9 uh, on the Richter scale. Um, so the fact that it's had some kind of uh, knockout of, uh, of logistics here in the capital um, will just give you some idea, I guess, of uh, the possible scale of things closer to the epicenter. So the area where we believe this earthquake is centered, what sort of, uh, what part of Mexico are we talking here? Would this be an area which is highly populated? We know Mexico, you're a large population, relatively small country. Uh, this area, though, that we're talking about, would this be a rural area? Or are we talking about villages, towns, what? Um, I mean, basically, the, the, the road um, between Mexico City to Acapulco and, and the state at large is, uh, is largely rural. There are um, a large sort of number of, uh, sort of mountain ranges in, in that state, um, Correro, and, um, and there are some small, small villages as well. Um, but uh, the, main, the main population areas um, would, be, uh, would be slightly more sparse. So uh, at this stage, it, it's hard to say exactly how many people would have been affected by it. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a mixed area of, of fairly remote regions in some places and then some uh, population centers in others. And just by way of comparison, the earthquake which shook Haiti more than two years ago was a 7.0 magnitude earthquake. So we're now talking about a 7.9 magnitude earthquake, which is many, many, many times uh, more powerful than a 7.0. But that was so devastating because it was fairly shallow beneath the surface. Nick, do we have any idea how deep beneath the surface this, this earthquake may have been? Uh, those are exactly the kind of uh, details that we're trying to work on right now. Uh, we're putting in some calls to emergency services, but we don't have, have any information on that at this, at this moment. But it's obviously a key, a key consideration going forward. Um, and uh, all, all indications are at the moment, uh, as I'm sort of just looking at my, my television, that... Um, it's been completely knocked out now, every channel. So clearly some of the infrastructure of the capital has been uh, at least temporarily fairly significantly affected.